of the things in this newsletter, if you look at it, there's three different stories in the newsletter. One thing that they all have in common, Bernie's tool fixed the car. All right, I want to thank you for coming out. I'm going to turn this over to Bernie Thompson. And here's Bernie. Thank you. Hello, how are you guys? Why do we fuel inject? So to have a fuel injection on a car, why did we have to do that? Carburetors work just fine. For many, many years, a carburetor fueled a car. In fact, when you look back at, at cars and automobiles from a horseless carriage, when I put a motor in this thing, I didn't have a lot of changes as far as electrical systems. Pretty much, right? And a scan tool is only a tool to gather data very rapidly and make a diagnostic decision where I use a scope or a meter to validate the circuits. It is not a tool that tells you what's wrong with the car. It guides you in a direction. It's like if I'm trying to get back to Albuquerque, there's a lot of road signs along the way, but I've got to take the right ones, right? It's only the road signs. It's a pointer, and it's going to drive me. It's going to show me my way, but it isn't going to get me there. You're going to have to use an oscilloscope or a meter in order to fix this. So obviously I need lots of parts and ionization for a mass sensor, and it was a piece of paper. We got to be better. We got to pay attention to what we're doing. It's about air, guys. You know, when I pulled it off, I knew the mass sensor was bad. I thought it was the new mass sensor or something was bad. And when I went to pull the mass air sensor off, there was no air filter in it. These guys put a mass sensor on it, a boot, an ionization block, plugs, and God knows what else I didn't see, and they didn't put an air filter in it? They'd have fixed their problem. I looked down in the air filter and I saw that little piece of paper in there and it was plastic. That's the problem. Pay attention to what you're working on. You'll fix lots of stuff.